It will be remembered as one of the worst days in Milwaukee's history. Fifteen years ago today, the big blue crane collapsed, killing three iron workers at Miller Park. The crane was lifting a large section of the roof when it came crashing down because of the wind. Charles Benson is live at Miller Park, where the victims are not forgotten. Charles. Mike, I want to show you the three yellow flowers that rest at the boots of this worker statue at Miller Park, built for all who worked here, including the three who died. On a night that Miller Park sits silent, the roar of iron workers on Harleys fills the plaza outside the stadium. Our buddies. They have come to remember William DeGrave, Jerome Starr, and Jeffrey Wisher. We worked with these guys. They were close friends of ours. They bonded on big projects, and Miller Park was among the biggest. Workers have become concerned about safety during the big lifts. July 14th proved them right. We all felt as iron workers that we believe that that shouldn't have, that pick shouldn't have been made that day. 15 years later, there have been so many wonderful memories at Miller Park, but as the hero's wall here points out, the memories of DeGrave, Starr, and Wisher are alive in every part of Miller Park. It's right here. Robina Biestefeld's iron worker dad, William Reddy, helped build Miller Park. He quit three days before the crane collapsed because of safety concerns. She hopes fans will never forget what happened here. Every time you walk up to Miller Park, think about it and uh, just say prayers for them. Prayers for a proud group of men and women. We're proud as iron workers that we were part of building this. And the tragedy set back the opening of Miller Park by a year and the repairs cost $100 million. We're live at Miller Park, Charles Benson. Today's TMJ4. Yeah, a very tragic time in our history. Hard to believe it's been 15 years. Thanks, Charles.